Yo, 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 what's good? What's good, man? It's your boy K Camp. Back at it again on the SYSBM Chronicles. And um Yeah, it's one of those it's one of those videos, so go ahead and strap your seat belts. Um But yeah, let me shoot straight to the point. Cause nobody on the internet wants to be, you know, open about this. And again, this is me. From the outside, from the outside in. Um, again, y'all know where I stand. Y'all know where I, what I believe in, and I'm standing on that. Uh, but this video is going to be strictly about the agenda of Lisa Ann and the black phallus worship or black penis worship. And I'm going to explain what I've studied in. The reason why they gave me a strike on my YouTube channel, okay, and I'm going to explain how Lisa Ann craftily, you know, promoted the whole BNWO. She was actually like, like one of the first pioneers to do it. Now I'm not promoting porn. I'm not promoting, uh, you know, promiscuous behavior. This is strictly from a logical mm -hmm. and observational standpoint okay so i spoke with lisa ann's producer on twitter y'all won't believe me but i really did she uh she knows another pornographic star carl named maitland ward m-a-i-t-l-a-n-d-w-a-r-d um and pretty much because i know i'm an israelite for you know 10 years i'm not with the camps i'm not with the radical nonsense that's a whole different video but i've done thorough research on the freemasons and who run the porn industry and who's doing what just to give y'all a background on how thorough this is lisa ann wanted to do a sex film with the harrison twins that played for kentucky kentucky went to a school called fort ben travis that's the same school i attended a year after they graduated so follow me so when I showed Lisa Ann's producer who I was and you know I was actually I made a Twitter page exposing the agenda of black penis worship and I exposed the uh, the truth about the black man's genitals and the woman's because I was doing a lot of research on what's going on because I'm because I'm like okay y'all are saying it's a myth but simultaneously when I was addicted or watching porn, I'm like, why the hell is everybody worshiping our penises? So I'm like, something not adding up. And that's when, I, that's when I found out all of the details and all of the, the things that's very taboo and shit that'll get you killed or kicked off of YouTube. So coming back coming back to Lisa Ann, um, she looks terrible now, but in her prime, and I got her book, she was brought up She's, she's first of all she's Sicilian okay and we know a lot of those black moors were were what they call breeding a lot of white women in Sicily so it's funny how in Lisa Ann's book she said that she was Sicilian and I'm like okay most white women don't even have you know big breasts and big big asses like that especially back in like the 80s and 70s that wasn't common so I'm like okay and I'm pretty sure Lisa Ann understood very early on. Obviously, like most women, they know black men love developed women. That's just nature. Because you look developed. You don't look like a girl. Common sense. But especially during like the 50s, 60s, and 70s, 80s, etc. She knew that black men loved her body type. So she used her body type and her sex appeal to you know sexually appeal to black men not only that the way she was brought up with a, hip a hypocritical catholic you know household where they were just again just going left with shit you know the divorce thing being abusive she said in her book that as she was going through this she has not read the bible not once um that she clicked immediately with like black men and women when 
she was younger and she was saying in her book the first one that because of her upbringing and because of how she she already she was already against the racism and everything when she was younger so by the time she got into the porn industry it made it a lot easier to go against the you know status quo and y'all y'all can see it in her video with vlad bro she says you know it's very three-dimensional and it's very sexy she's telling you she worships black men in the video and you can see like how it's millions of views and like very little likes that shows you something and what's so powerful about this shit is like it's wicked as hell but lisa n is a, is a businesswoman okay these are not like the Karens and the Cokeheads in the, in the dirty South and the backwoods. These are like their best looking so-called white women. Cecilia, she might be a, she might be a scattered, you know, Jake, but these are the, these are the creme de la creme. So she was hurting white male racism and pride because their number one seller, the number one adult star is promoting the black penis. Even though she's she's on she's on the she's on the Broadway, but that's what she did, and I'm like, okay, logically, that makes a lot of sense. And I was talking to, to her producer, as y'all saw in the beginning, she said, yeah, like that was her whole goal was to promote black men. So <laughs> again, I don't participate in this bullshit, but I'm like, damn, that's some cold. That's 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 kind of cold. So that's when Jada Stevens came, you know, Kelsey Monroe, Alexis Breeze, and Sarah J, all these popular adult stars um, that came along because these Aleister Crowleyists, these Freemasons, whatever, they understand sex controls you subconsciously and consciously. That's what makes this very powerful. Not to speak on genetics, not to speak on the sexual pleasure. It's so many, it's deep. It's like, it's crazy but yeah um porn is not real sex bro like that's not what i'm promoting for you uh idiots what she did along with other adult stars they know men and women need sex biologically okay so they said look she said look to defeat this roman kingdom or this fake white supremacist nonsense, I'm going to hit you where I hurt, which is your phallus. And I think in this video, I'm going to actually I'm gonna show you all the screenshots that I researched a while back about how the Ku Klux Klan was founded off of penis envy. And I think what Lisa Ann was doing, too, was saying that... <laughs> It's, it's always been a well-known mm -hmm. fact with with us, you know, about our phalluses, our penises. But they're trying to, what the other races of men were trying to do was reverse it and trying to be like, oh, they just they just see you as a sex object. First of all, if they're like that, I'm already off of them. And most of the time, I'm not even checking for white women. Just keep it on it. But they did that to just get away with secretly lusting after the black man's penis because believe it or not that's what that's what that's what's happening again raise your maturity level so lisa and was like okay since y'all want to be racist about it since i want to hide it i'm just gonna you know go against the grain and that's what she did now i'm, I'm gonna make this very clear okay I'm just doing this to expose the truth. I'm not doing this because I'm with these people. No. I'm just telling y'all the truth. Okay. And I don't, and I, like I said, I don't I don't understand why like people don't like to talk about it. And then, you know, YouTube's so damn sensitive, they'll try to take shit off of oh, you you guys are promoting uh uh explicit content. You have Adam 22 and no jumper with podcasts and voices and shit and all these adult stars why because you're run by those fake car czars 
It come like come on, like stop, stop it, bro. But let me I'll keep it a hundred. Most white women, except for in Houston, any anywhere anywhere outside of an urban city, most most so called white women or eating my women, they're not built like Lisa Ann. Let alone like a Candace Jackson, aka Jada Stevens, or you can it's I don't know. But make this very clear, I'm not with the all the other shit. Y'all already know y'all already, y'all already know what I'm talking about. Man, you just need to give some pussy. Bro, stop. I'm just speaking truth to power. But Lisa Ann, if you see this video, you you you, you very smart, but you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, I didn't I didn't I just honestly I just squeeze a lot of information out of these people, which is very dangerous. Um, but because I walked the narrow road, I don't fear that shit. Uh, now we'll say this, the way I went about it was the wrong way. Cause I actually, you know, showed my thing, but, but, but I, I didn't do it. I didn't, I stopped. That was strictly just to squeeze information out of them just to get them to admit the truth. No, because I can, I can, I can admit that as a man. Now, let me say this before I go, because this wasn't going to be a long video. Um, if a, if you if you if I see a Lisa Ann type woman in her prime, I might I might take her in as a little you know concubine or whatever. But I just can't like I don't know white women. White women, it's like they don't. I guess it depends on the woman you come across, cause the ones like in in the south, in the backwoods, bro, hell no. Donald Trump waving, mother, nope, nope. It's cause they don't, they don't. It's not the same, you know. Lovey dovey type. It's it's not the same, bro. I'm just keeping it hundred, and, and, and to each his own. See what I'm saying? But yeah, it wasn't gonna be a long video, man. But yeah, that was that was Lisa Ann's agenda. Um, how she looks now? She looks terrible. Um, I believe she had breast reduction surgery because she, because all that damn promiscuity and shit, bro. And you know, stress can actually make a woman, um, what you call it, uh, develop like cancer. It's, it's a whole lot of details and shit, but yeah, she looks terrible now. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's what happened. She, that was her whole agenda. So it was 13 minutes. Yep. But for all you motherfuckers, for all y'all on damn Google talking about, oh, you know, this is a myth and all this other stuff. And, oh, really, white men have bigger... Bro, it's levels to this. Um, and, that's, and, that's, and, that's, and that's all I'm going to say. But, um, but, yeah, anyways, man. I'm going to head on out. Y'all be easy. And Lisa Ann, if you see this video, um, I, don't know what, I don't know what to tell you. But anyways, it was your boy K Camp, and I'm signing up.